Nigeria Corrine has lauded President Muhammad Buhari, saying his executive order five saved Nigeria from foreign domination in the area of the engineering profession. Speaking at the ongoing 29th Engineering Assembly, engineer Ali Rabiu, president of Koren, described Executive Order 5 as a bold move towards enhancing the socio-economic standing of the professionals in the science, engineering, and technological disciplines. Rabiu, however, decried the obvious death of craftsmen in the engineering and technology profession, lamenting that 80% of craftsmen in Nigeria are foreigners from neighboring countries. In what could be described as a bold move towards enhancing the socioeconomic standing of the professionals in the science, engineering, and technological disciplines, the President and Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria issued Executive Order No. 5 on Friday, February 2, 2018. In the proclamation entitled Presidential Executive Order, for planning and execution of projects, promotion of Nigerian context in contracts in science, engineering, and technology, President Buhari, in pursuance to the authority vested in him by the Constitution, signed the order making it mandatory for all ministries, departments, and agencies of government to engage indigenous professionals in the planning, design, and execution of national security projects maximize in-country capacity in all contracts and transactions with science, engineering, and technology components. By this act, the President has certainly confirmed that Nigerian professionals are not bereft of the skills, expertise, and competence to perform like their foreign counterparts. Airborne State Governor Engineer David Omahi, who was the chairman of the occasion, charged Koren and all stakeholders to work towards radicalizing the engineering profession in the country such that Nigerian engineers can provide the required work for the nation. Mr. President, I can make people angry, but the truth remains that the cost of project in Nigeria is the highest all over the world. Why should it be? And so I would like us to engage Mr. President, we have a lot to offer this nation. I'd like us to say no to the cost of projects in this country. I'd like us to say no to the treatment meted to our engineers in various construction companies that are expatriate based. I like the payments that are being done to expatriates, some of them not even engineers, hating us, should be reviewed in favor of our people too. Also in his speech, President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, challenged current leadership to work on how to reduce the cost of projects, saying Nigeria pays the highest for projects in the whole world. Represented by Adamu Aliero, the Chairman Senate Committee on Works, the Senate President said Executive Order 5 has given the indigenous engineers enough power to do what they can for the country. Track up. We are almost 60 years since we gained our independence and we have been training and retraining our engineers so it is up to us to come up with ways and means of ensuring that we take over all engineering works in the country the national assembly is prepared to provide a enabling environment and even the executive arm of government is equally willing to provide all the enabling environment as seen by the president giving the executive order number five that order number five has given you all the support you require. What more do you want? So I urge us all to ensure that uh, we use that opportunity given by the executive order number five to take over all engineering works in Nigeria. Theme of this year's assembly centers around advancing the frontiers of engineering practitioners and entrenching professionalism for national development.